welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. Now we have some more scripted encounters. Now these are against uh, the Mush MK100. They are an improved version of the first gears that we fought in the game. These are Kislev General Military. And they will usually attack a gear before they attack characters. You see they're attacking Heimdall before the characters on the ground. Now see this amino burn. That is a area effect attack. Sorry I failed this what you said there is because the attack failed to do as much damage as, damage as she wanted it to. That actually killed the two on the ground. The problem is there's a chance that enemies could defend against such an attack. Which is what makes Ellie a harder character to use. Now if, like in optimal conditions, it is possible for one of your characters to take down an enemy gear. Provided the gear isn't willing to attack your character. And in this case, I have Heimdall, you know, riding the back. And I should take this one down. I'm really just screwing around with this battle a little bit. I could have defeated these guys a lot easier, a lot quicker, had I used gears for everybody. Also, I gotta train Ellie on her death blows, because without death blows, her character's gonna be a lot of games. Four. Wow. Take it out. Now we're on Figging level. Alien Terror Storm. That was a wind attack, an area effect wind attack. Moving on. There's a treasure chest over here, gold nugget, something I can sell. Another scripted battle, since it's the same kind of ending, you just gonna skip over it. And moving on! When I originally played through this, it took me like 45 minutes because I was screwing around a lot, training Ellie on a lot of death blows and fighting a lot of enemies over and over again. It should be a lot quicker. This would be this trek through the military facility shouldn't take as long as ones have the been. Shinobi MK0. Is it an A? I think it's a zero. This is a very weird kind of gear. It is extremely agile and will dodge a lot of your attacks. Do not use X, maybe even square attacks on trying to dodge. See that? That was the X attack miss. Now it'll do a lot of damage too. Its attack power is rather high. In fact, it's probably either the highest or the second highest attack uh, difficult enemy in this area, aside from the boss. Of course. Now, ether attack. Something Ellie is very good at is what you need to use here. This is an area where Ellie is actually useful. That enemy is so agile that it will dodge attacks even from your characters. Aquamus is the last area effect ether attack that Ellie's gonna earn. Skip over this battle line. No, no, no. Okay, there's something about this battle. I'm gonna skip over. I'm gonna rush through the early parts of it until I get to where I can show you. But remember what I was saying a few episodes back when we kind of Panic, that while we are fighting in gears, they will be. 
way of fighting him is very difficult. Now here, in this case, I will take out the gears. And then I will proceed to take out the mechanics. I'll leave one mechanic alive. Notice they're attacking. Doing very little damage. Now I'll take down... Now what happens is we charge, and all three of my gears charge. Now, although a majority of the time what this cat is going to do is attack. I'll have a fixed range gear only to speed this effort along. Same thing with Ellie, but Scientan does not have a frame restore option. Now, the mechanic will usually attack. Now, if you use a charge, which works like a defense, his attacks will do absolutely no damage. On occasion, though, he won't attack. What he will do is throw a wrench at your gear that, instead of harming your gear, actually repairs it. It's kind of rare. So you have to use for a while. This is a large dungeon, and the boss at the end can be a lingering boss. Be a little hard to defeat sometimes. You might want to utilize this strategy at least once while going through here. You see, they took zero damage when he was defending the charge. See, there we go. Prepare, prepared phase. Now I want the target sight. I also want to continue to do this until everybody's fuel is completely I want him to repair his side tanks. So there we go. He just did it. So apparently I decided to go on Zero damage. In fact, I got sick of it and decided to take it down. But it really works because you can essentially restore your gear to... Restore your gear completely. Without having to pay for it and without having to go back to Hammer. So, moving on. Save. I'll cut that out. Go this way for a chest. Battle. Okay. These guys are irritating bastards too. They are relatively fast and have some pretty good, a relatively good amount of power and defense. The big thing is they will have a Moto MK3. That amount of damage they do is pretty good. And they will attack your characters. Not exclusive. They will attack your characters if you like over time. So it's best not to use any characters while staying your gear for the exclusive. Other than that, they go down to the easy. Good thing they usually need attack like two of them. Sometimes they have mechanics. Two cylinder. When we're fighting enemies while in water, the O2 cylinder increases agility, just like Mark had an item which increased his agility in the desert. Another battle coming up. But since we're running out of time here, I'm going to have to end the episode. And when we come back, we 